Right, okay, in this video I want to talk about squares, cubes and powers, okay? So, if we want to square a number, that means we're times a number by itself. So if we've got 2 squared, that means I've got 2 times 2, which is 4. And if I've got 3 squared, then I've got 3 times 3, which is 9. And this would be 16. Because I've got 4 times 4, this one's 5 times 5, that's 25, that one's 6 times 6, so that's 36, okay? Now, and if we cube a number, that means we times a number by itself 3 times. So if I've got 3 cubed, I've got 3 times 3 times 3, okay? 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. So, 3 cubed is 27, okay? And for 4 cubed, if I've got 4 cubed, I've got 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64, and you can check that on the calculator if you're not sure. And 5 cubed is 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125, okay? Now, whatever number this number up here is, the little one in the top, which is called a power, that tells us how many times we've got to multiply this number here by itself, okay? So I've got here, I've got 2 to the power of 6. That means I need to times 2 by itself 6 times. So I've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, right? And that comes out to be 64 when you times all those together. And again, you can check that on the calculator if you want. 3 to the 5 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And that comes out to be 243. If you work it out on the calculator. And 12 squared means 12 times 12 which is 144. And 10 to the power of 7 is 10 multiplied by itself 7 times. So that's... ...10 million when you times all those tens. Because if you times tens, you just get extra zeros. 9 to the power of 1 is just 9. That's what... We're not times it by itself. So any number to the power of 1 is the number itself. And here I've got 11 to the power of 0, right? Now, if we've got something to the power of 0, it's always 1, right? The reason will be much more obvious later on, but for now we're just going to assume... And uh, we're just going to say that anything to the power of 0 is 1, okay? So, that was just a lesson there on how we find squares, cubes and powers of numbers.